It shouldn't shock us that people are leaving the church. The reality is, most churches in America are not churches. This does not mean they are not places of worship, however. There is worship that goes on, but it is worship of man and mere lip service to God. This is shown in many instances, from the songs that we sing being man-centered about what God does for us, to the dancing around of the calling out of sin. The false church of America has also gotten pretty good at dancing around calling out sin, from labeling passages in the Bible as misogynistic, or dismissing some as clobber passages, or saying that they don't apply to us anymore. It's undeniable that the church has gotten this tune and dance memorized, and it's killing us. Simply put, the false teachings in the modern church are like carbon monoxide or any other deadly undetectable gas. The Bible is our carbon monoxide detector, but the church has decided to switch it off. Now, you may be thinking, if the church is like the world, then why is the world leaving it? Well, because the world doesn't want the knockoff teachings the church is selling. The church these days may as well be a feminist, LGBT-affirming, history-hating nightclub, except without the rest of the things a nightclub has to offer to the sinner. So, they go to the nightclub, and then the boomers running the whole ordeal act shocked, like this was completely unpredictable. It wasn't to anyone with a functioning brain. However, people with functioning brains are in pretty short supply. I'm not saying we ought to be a bunch of pseudo-Muslims, stoning gays or forcing women to wear hijabs, but I am saying we ought to call out sexual immorality, whether that's homosexual sex or women being immodest and promiscuous, or whatever else you may be thinking of. I fear the reason that this is happening is that God is judging us. He is judging us for our sexual immorality, along with the many other crimes this nation has committed, yet refused to repent of, whether this is abortion and the 22 million murdered by it, or the countless victims of the wars that the military-industrial complex has fought, or the prom promiscuity of our women, or the childishness of our men. He is judging us for it, and the American church is complicit in the sin that America is committing. With all that out of the way, Please, guys, pray that this nation repents, because if it doesn't, we've got a long and hard path ahead. God bless, and have a good day.